tradition. That's what many Somalis know Isli to be. Located east of Nairobi's central business district, Isli contributes 25% of Nairobi's revenue taxes due to trading clothes, jewelry, foreign money transfers and domestic tourism. According to Wikipedia, the diaspora-fueled economy of Isli rakes in between 10 to 40 billion Kenya shillings. It further states that over $1.5 billion goes to Nairobi City Council in taxes from the suburb alone. According to Miss uh, Film Company, uh, as you know, I have learned from them uh, script writing, and I have learned four weeks for training about script writing. Now I have experience about script writing. It's Leewood deals with youth, and as you know, 70% of this country is made of the youth. It, it, pre it prepares the youth to be the future of tomorrow. Um, that's because um, Hollywood is a production house that is known by so many people. And because of Hollywood, so many other ones have been born. Like we have uh, Bollywood, we have uh, Bongowood, we have Nollywood, and now we have even Riverwood. Well, Sleewood to me means a lot to me. They have grown in my life to experience a lot of good things, a lot of professional things that in my life I could not think of. I was working as a costume designer, as a model, and as a dancer too. Okay, to create something that is genuine in your business, you have to start it again. And I think with a great intent, you disconnect from the past. And if you never change anything, what you can really engineer is kind of incremental. But when you really to change it, you can open up the whole the world of design. And I think Islewood is the only Somali people who has the vision to go to the future and to, to make their, their vision realistic. Yeah, my name is Abraham Iman. I'm the director of Islewood. Islewood is a non-governmental organization, NGO based in Islewood. And we do use empowerment programs. Uh, we produce films, um, documentaries, drama, comedy. Yeah. Uh, and we, 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 we produce as uh, informative, educative and entertaining. And as you know, Somali, our, our target audience is Somali speaking community and they are our community. That's why we use uh, audiovisual clips. And if you hear wood, wood is actually all companies who normally uh, use, produce film, they call themselves, themselves uh, wood. We found 2011 and uh, here in Italy actually. That's why we are Italy good. We do a lot of uh, programs. Uh, also, we do we train also youth. Uh, we create for them uh, a job. Uh, we give them a lot life skill training, vocational training, and we will use actually uh, film documentaries, and also, yeah, uh, and also we host forums, uh, bring different background, and we host for them uh, a forum, whereby we bridge base, and we promote inter-ethnic cohesion and harmony. I cannot express it in just one statement, but I, I would like to touch a few areas whereby uh, we have trained a lot of beauties. Some of them are now filmmakers. Some of them are superstars and singers. For example, like uh, there's a young girl called Ali. She had trained us when she was 17. Now she, she, she held uh, actually a show in Hargeza, and now she's in Ethiopia, a uh, region called Jigjigo. She's trying to have another forum. So we train a number of uh, students. We mentor them. Some of them are role models to other youths. And they are telling them uh, actually to join Italy World so that they should not melt with criminals. On September 2012, 
Israel suffered under terrorist attack linked to Al Shabaab militia. Those attacks broke forth in the wake of Kenya Defense Force deployment to Somalia. This resulted in negative ethnicity and hate speech allegations against the Somali community. Other terrorist attacks that followed include the September 2013 Westgate attack that left 67 people dead and scores injured. In the Mombasa gun attack, four people died while 10 others were injured in the neighboring Diani in a grenade attack. Due to the Al Shabaab links in these attacks, the Kenyan government has evicted Isli residents, mostly Somali refugees, back to the Dab refugee camp in the last two months. That includes those who possess alien identity cards. So I can say we have transformed Sili youths a lot, uh, although there is a lot to do. As a director in the NGO, Iman, who was born and bred in Sli, is carrying out advocacy program through media, arts and cultural events. <laughs> And lack of, you know, uh, equipment, lack of fund, uh, it took us quite some time to reach our goal. But we are committed, we are dedicated, and we are hoping one day, one time, Isli will be a good residential, a good place yeah, to live, to stay. Uh,